One day when I talked to Trada about being smuggled in to be imprisoned with her children, I remember her saying, there was no other choice. They are my children. This is what I had to do. Eventually, the family was reunited and moved to New York City where our friend Susan was born. Trauta became an attorney in this country, then became a family court judge who also taught at the Benjamin N. Cardoza School of Law. Her husband had a highly successful career in this country for many years, and all three grown children are doing well to this day. But what if Trauta had not had herself smuggled into this hopeless situation? What if she had listened to the sensible arguments of others? What if she had not risked herself for a higher calling? What if she had not stayed the journey, the journey that only she could make, abiding long enough for hope unseen to become reality? Sometimes all we can do, what we have to do, because there is no other right choice, is to step into the abyss, abiding as best we can, finding the power from somewhere to stay the course until hope shows up on the scene, until there, until there is a resurrection miracle. What about us? What about this community of faith in the heart of Detroit? Fort Street has staying power, an abiding presence in Detroit, where we have been for a very long time, through ups and downs, decades before any of us, even our oldest and wisest members, were even born. And we're not going anywhere else. Ford Street's Open Door has been here a long time, starting with a few sandwiches, expanding greatly over the years, and in the process, process of expanding even as I speak. Corral has been here a long time, an experimental dream that grew into a Detroit tradition. Ford Street has staying power. Staying power unlike some of our well-meaning sisters and brothers who are planning to come to Detroit for the 40 days after Easter, coming to help with somewhat of their own agenda. Ford Street staying power is power that has been proven over the decades, a power that is grounded in presence and continuity day after day, year after year. And it's this abiding presence that makes all the difference. This living alongside of people, in solidarity with the neighbors outside our doors, learning the agenda of the city which keeps changing, and walking along together with the community of Detroit through the tough stuff, staying the course to the journey's end. Staying in place, engaging the community for a long time gives you credibility, and credibility gives you power, and power well used is transforming. We can move into Detroit living into whatever situations we find, staying the course, abiding with our neighbors in the communities surrounding us until resurrection is ushered into the scene, until we experience a resurrection miracle. My friends, this is Easter. Stepping into challenging situations in our midst in spite of fear or despair or weariness or anything else, walking through the hopelessness in our own lives, standing in solidarity with others in their hopelessness until resurrection becomes real in your life, until resurrection becomes real in their lives. And hope is rediscovered and life is renewed. If we're not in the right place, at the right time, living in those places where hope and resurrection are most needed, we may never experience the power of resurrection in our own lives, the power of the living Christ alive in us, empowering us to change the world. And if resurrection doesn't happen in your life, if it doesn't make a difference in the depths of your being, if it doesn't change you, empowering you to transform a broken world, especially those places where resurrection and renewed hope are most needed, then I'm not sure all the hype about Easter and about resurrection really mean anything at all. 
Will you pray with me? For the power of the living Christ, ready to take us to places we never imagined, empowering us to do things we never dreamed possible, we give thanks from the depths of our beings. As we are drawn into a deeper relationship with the living Christ, transform us, ever creating one, so that we may live resurrection miracles and become whole. Amen.